Hello and welcome to Falcon Fever. I'm Wyatt Hall. And I'm Austin Gates. Thanks so much for joining us. Today, Austin and I will break down the upcoming season for the men's basketball team. We'll also sit down with men's head coach Danny Young a little later in the show. Let's take a look back at how the Falcons fared last season. The men finished 15-15 and 10-10 and 10 and 10 in conference play. Coach Danny Young enters his 16th year and has taken the Falcons to the NCAA tournament 11 times. The Falcons have missed the tournament the last two seasons, but look to return this year. The Falcons returned five players from last season, including Jeremiah Curtis, Zach Jackson, and Tyler Updike. Coach Young also brings in seven newcomers to this team. Jeremiah Curtis returns as the leading scorer and rebounder for the Falcons after averaging 9.8 points per game and 5.2 rebounds per game last season. Jeremiah Curtis, Zach Jackson, and Tyler Updike uh, are three of four seniors uh, the team, uh, on the team this season, which also includes senior DeMarco Owens, a transfer from NCAA Division I McNeese State University. When we come back, head coach Jenny Young will join us in the studio to talk about the upcoming season. We'll be right back. Your success depends upon effective communication. Visit montevallo.edu forward slash COFA. You create your future in communication studies and mass communication. You belong at Montevallo. Welcome back to Falcon Fever. Joining us in the studio today is Coach Danny Young and Jeremiah Curtis. Guys, thanks for being here today. I appreciate you having us. Thank you. Coach, what expectations do you have for the team this season? Well, as usual, the expectations are lofty. You know, we hope to win a conference championship and hope to go on to the the NCAA tournament and have a chance to win a national championship. And Jeremiah, you come back as one of the leaders on this team. Uh, you were here last year. I think you lead in every statistical category from uh, last season just because there's some inexperience or people that haven't played here before. What does that mean and how are you going to lead on the court this year? Well, I'm going to try to just do my best to let the new guys like lead them as best I can. But I mean, we got a, a good group of guys like the returners and you know dudes that's new and we're gonna be ready and coach you get michael fuller back this year who had to sit out last season due to injury what does he add to the team this year well hopefully some experience even though it's not really mm -hmm. experience you know yeah. jeremiah and i were talking about it out in the hall he's a even though he's not a three-year guy he's a, he's a three-year student now three years out right. of college he's been around enough though hopefully his watching and looking and he can have a little bit of leadership and have an effect on the game. Yeah, so you guys, uh, you all obviously have a tough schedule. Uh, you had a tough game against Alabama the other night. Just kind of this first weekend of the season, you got to have a tournament, I believe, in Tampa. Yeah. Uh, can you just talk about how you're looking an outlook kind of on this early season? Um, well, the early season, I think that's the most important part yeah. of the season because it's when you get started yeah. and when you know you take what the boss man say and you know <laughs> you, you get it started early. So I think it's being important for us to get a good start this weekend. We learned a lot in our scrimmages, especially from the Alabama game, because sometimes you got to learn from a beat down. Yeah. So we learned and you know we've been practicing hard and we're going to have a good weekend this week. You, also, you guys are also going to Puerto Rico, I believe, uh, mm -hmm. this year. Uh, what does that opportunity kind of mean for the team as a whole? Well, I just think it's a great experience to get them out there and, and get them to play. Some, I'm not really international, I guess you couldn't, All but right. a different type of band, very physical and very skilled level guys that, that will be, you know, difficult to play against. So it gives us, I feel, a leg up when we get back to conference play, playing those games over there. All right. And, Coach, one thing, more thing before we go. You had seven newcomers to the roster this year. What are you most excited about the, the group of guys coming in this year? We have a lot of guys, I think, that are a lot of the same type of skill sets, mm -hmm. and it's just been very competitive, and hopefully it's going to stay very competitive. They compete against each other and push each other to get better, which will help us you know, become better in the long run. All right, uh, Coach Jeremiah, thank you for joining us. Uh, before we wrap up, uh, let's take a look at the men's schedule for this season. Uh, the men played Alabama in exhibition in October 30th, losing 80-42. to Falcons will travel. You really want to, to talk about that? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's Tampa, Florida uh, for the Gulf South Conference uh, Sunshine State Challenge where they will face the University of Tampa and St. Leo University this weekend. Later this season, the Falcons will travel to Puerto Rico. The Falcons' first home game will be at 7 p.m. against Clark Atlanta University on Tuesday, November 13th in Trustmark Arena. Remember, you can get all the latest UM Athletic news 24-7 at MontevalloFalcons.com. 
Well, that's all we have uh, time for today. Thanks for joining us, and we'll catch you next time.